Hello everyone, uh, I hope that you all are having a good day. Uh, I'm Mamo Sandri Samkhan and uh, welcome to my class. So today uh, we would like to have a look on the analogic treatment process. Uh, basically it's a uh, definition of types. So it is a process uh, which occurs uh, in absence of oxygen. Uh, you can get some idea from the top and all day. Uh, the resultant product uh, is mainly biogas, uh, biolithium, uh, biohydrogen. Uh, and they can be further used to produce electricity. It is a low carbon energy procedure uh, and definitely an environmental friendly one. So AD, uh, in short, uh, there are various types and uh, by integrating them, uh, the performance or the efficiency uh, can be far better. So uh, let's have a look on some types. Uh, these are the four basic types, uh, anaerobic digestion, dark fermentation, uh, analogs, analogic ammonium oxidation process and the microbial fuels, the CMFC. Besides them, there are also some types such as the microbial electrolytic cell or uh, polyhydroxyl cations, uh, but these are the main four types. So the first one, anaerobic digestion, AD, it is the most popular one and it is consistent of four basic stages, hydrolysis, uh, acetogenesis, acetogenesis, and uh, methanogenesis. In the last stage, methanogenesis, biogas is produced, which is consistent basically of uh, methane and carbon dioxide. So there are some parameters such as uh, pH, temperature, nutrient content, uh, toxic substances, which affects the efficiency. And uh, FUM from AD, such as uh, digestion, it is a very uh, popular thing in the agricultural field. So there are also some other types, such as, uh, but the AD is the most popular one. So the dark fermentation, uh, it takes place in a dark chamber. Uh, it is basically used to get uh, hydrogen biologically. And there are also some uh, ta types uh, to get hydrogen biologically, such as light driven, electrochemical, but dark fermentation is very really good. Uh, it is more effective in the photosynthesis, but it is uh, greatly dependent on the strict anaerobes uh, because uh, volatile fatty acids or alcohols can be produced uh, as byproducts and it can disturb the harmonic efficiency. So, the next one is anamox. You can see the reaction of the anamox that ammonium is oxidized by the nitrite and nitrogen is produced. Both Oxidation and reduction is taking place, the reduction of nit nitrite. So analogs is basically used to the, for the wastewater treatment, but it is definitely not restricted to it. Uh, analogs, uh, uh, more researches are going on uh, because uh, it can be used for uh, carbon dioxide removal, uh, but we need more technical details. And analogs, it is actually liable for 50% nitrogen removal from the ocean. So the final one is MFC, microbial process, which is an electrochemical device. You can see the diagram. The anaerobic uh, anode and aerobic cathode, basically they are separated by a proton exchange membrane. So this device, it converts the uh, biodegradable material into electricity. And uh, here, uh, from the anode, uh, electrons and protons are produced. And protons, they go to cathode and further it produces uh, water. So these are the four basic types and by integrating them such as we can integrate dark fermentation uh, with AD and then we can use the FUM of AD in the MFC uh, to, use, uh, to produce electricity and uh, it can make the efficiency better. Uh, so that's all for today. Uh, I hope you all enjoyed and uh, thank you for your attention.